Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2024 video tutorial. I call this exercise a simple stand. Why? Because it looks almost like a stand and it's quite easy to do. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, I want to start with a line. So go for a line which starts at zero, 00 and then goes up. So that's not activated, whatever. 200. Another line starts at zero, 00 again and goes in that direction, maybe. Let's go for 60 millimeter. You can use a helix or you can use a sweep. I want to go for a sweep. So let's go to a surface sweep. Select that line here. Right click, enter. Then I want to go for twist. And I want to have 10 revolutions, which means 3600 degrees twist. The path would be this one. And I've got this nice surface here. Let's put this surface onto a different layer, maybe on this one. Great. Now let's hide this one here. So go for hide objects and hide that surface. Then I need a revolved surface. So I want to go for a polyline. Okay, which starts maybe at 15.0. And then I want to go straight up a little bit in this direction, straight up, maybe like this, straight up back there, straight up maybe like this here. Okay. Now I want to round that corners. These corners, of course. So go for a radius of maybe 10. Then select the polyline option. Select the polyline and it will be rounded and flitted all the way. Now I can make a surface revolve. I want to use that polyline here, right click, and then an object as axis, this object here. And I want to go for 360 degrees, so just right click, enter. Now, I want to extend that one here at this, on this edge, maybe five millimeter on the other one as well. Then make a union. It's not necessary, but I want to do it. But I will lose the surface associativity. But that doesn't really matter right now. And maybe put this surface onto a different layer as well. Great. I think I could switch to that layer and hide the sketches and maybe switch off layer 0 because I want to move the unnecessary objects there. Let's bring back that first surface. And now I want to trim the orange one with the green one. So go to surface, go to trim. I want to trim the surface here, right click, enter with that one. Right click and then I want to remove the outer side. Great. Let's move this to layer 0. Yes. Now I want to extract the edges. So go for solid 
extract edges of this surface, right click, then I could move this surface as well to the layer 0. So now next I want to do that sweep. The problem with the sweep here is these are separate curves. Yeah? And if I join them, which is possible, those splines will then move away from their position. They will not stay right there. And then I cannot shape the form of the sweep. So therefore I have to do multiple sweeps and and I will stop the recording after the first two or three and proceed with the recording if I'm at the end. So I need a circle and I can draw that circle anywhere because in AutoCAD that circle will be moved to the path. So I could draw it over here and the radius should be 0 0.5. Okay. Now let's go for a solid sweep. I want to select that profile, enter and select the first path. Repeat that command, select the circle, enter, select the next one here. Yes, enter, select it, and enter, select the next one, and so on. Okay, so I'm almost done, and I've started the recording once again. And so you see the last pieces life it's kind of tedious but if you want exactly that shape you have to do it like that okay now I want to make a union, so go for union, select everything, the solids will be filtered, so I've got one solid here. Now let's move this one and that spline, here all those splines, so move this one to the sketches layer. Yes, and select one spline. Go for select similar and move them all to the sketches layer. Yes, which leaves me with that solid here. Now I need to offset surfaces. I could delete this one and I could also delete that circle. It's not needed anymore. So let's go to layer 0 and bring back the surface here. Move it maybe to this orange layer. And again hide layer 0. Now I need an offset surface. There you go. From this one. Right click. Maybe to the outside, yes. And that distance should be 0 0.25. Let's go here and put that offset surface maybe onto this layer. Now another one from the orange one. Right click, flip the direction and go again for 0 0.25. And Give this one a different color by moving it maybe to not. Yeah, I, I could hide that first surface and bring it back to layer zero. That's more like it. Yeah. Now I want to slice our solid here. So let's go to solid, go to slice. I want to slice that blue solid here. Right click with a surface with the green one. And of course I want to keep the inside. 
This looks good. Now for another slice. Same solid. Right click and select again a surface. Now the orange one. And I want to keep the outside. Looks pretty good. Let's hide those two layers, this one and that one. Not the blue one, sorry, but the orange one. Yeah. Now that's the shape I want this to be. Now I could make a mirror first and then make a pattern. So let's go for a 3D mirror, which should be right here. I want to mirror that solid here, right click. And I want to use this plane here, so select this point, that point and that point. No. Great. I could make a union. Might take a little bit. No, that's okay. And now I could do a circular pattern, but therefore I have to go to the set explain. So I switch to that coordinate system. And now I can make a circular pattern with that solid here, right click, and the center would be zero, zero. And I could go for maybe eight instances, and it could be associative, of course, and close that array. So if you want to make a union, you have to destroy the array with the explode, but I will leave it like that, and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on LinkedIn Learning, Facebook, GrabCat, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.